Hello. Hello, Hello Abby. Hello, everybody. How are we all doing today? It's Monday, Monday the 18th of June. And I come home from school. She is she's back from school. Like, for reason. Yeah, she was singing. Yes. Sing. And I can at the hospital. Yep, singing at a concert for the hospital. So the sick people are now sicker. Excuse me. <laughs> anyway. Uh, the sick people won't actually go, it's just staff. Yeah, just for the staff. So, uh, yeah. welcome to uh, Bench Update Monday. Bum. Bum. And it's also uh, update number two on the uh, Bedford QLR. Oh, so it's two and one. Wireless radio trucks. So it's, it's a double. Because, do you mean I'm going to go show all the little bits that I'm after doing? And it's pointless doing another video, then doing showing the exact same, isn't it? So uh, this is a it, it's bench update Monday, and it's also uh, update, update number two, two of on the, the uh, uh, Bedford thing. on the thing. I'm just gonna call it the thing. The thing, the Bedford QLR. Okay. Thing. So if if you haven't seen <laughs> update really one cool on the Bedford QLR, which I have Go back haven't. and go back and watch it. It, 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 it it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful kit. From, okay, uh, I'm gonna have to watch that. From <laughs> from IBG. Okay, so. I will watch that. I'll have to rearrange the camera, get it down on the bench, and we'll have a look at uh, what I've been up to and what I've got done. Okay? Yes. So. Alright, so at the end of update number one, I got this far, as far as step 17. Okay, and I got the uh, the two axles all finished off and everything else, right? So then we turn over and we get to step 18. Step 18, we're making the. Uh, the spare wheel and the fuel drum um, sort of assembly thing as you can see it make, ends up like that so you start off you got to make this uh, lattice work here okay all the little pieces they go in together there's a lot of <coughs> pieces <coughs> excuse me now the fit in this I was getting there going oh god this is going to be a bloody well awkward because you know you, you start on one side fit them to one side and then fit the other side in oh that would be and I was thinking it was going to be fair awkward, but believe it or not, everything just just fell into place. It really, really did. It reminds me to me of the way this thing, this this kit falls together. Um, not in the uh, the engineering of it and the and the moulding of it, far superior. But in the way it fits, you know, you guarantee that everything fits perfectly, and uh, it did. And it was absolutely beautiful fit there on that. I must admit. Wire out of the place. It wires everywhere. All right. So the second part, then you put on the wheel and you build up the uh, the, 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 the fuel, the fuel cell. We call it whatever you want to call it, the fuel tank, whatever. And there we go. Okay. So that's that piece there. Okay. And yeah, looks yeah I, 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 I've noticed it, so don't come back and tell me, well, you got that, that wheel in a different way than that. It doesn't friggin' matter, okay, whether which way the wheel has to face. I okay. don't think that's, I think that's okay. Yeah, well, it's supposed to be like that. I don't care. But it's like that. I don't care either. Do you know that? I don't care, I don't care either. Because, it, it, I mean, it, it's a case of, it just goes up there, that's it. It doesn't matter what way it goes, as long as it's up. It's one of those things that, that it's one of the few things in the whole lot that doesn't really matter which way it goes so that's that piece there right then we start building up this here okay that which is big and the main obvious. that's the main um oh, yep yeah, that's that piece up there over there which we'll show everybody now in a second this is the, the main um Hull? chassis <laughs> Hull. okay chassis for that now start off same idea ladder work again same idea as this one up here Except it's, Except it's more pieces. It's, it's bigger, there's a few more pieces. But the same fit, as in it it just fitted perfectly. It really, really did. Okay. So if we turn over, we see we have the leaf springs, the exhaust pipe, a few other little bits and pieces, you know, um, gearbox transfer things, you know, bring the power from to the front to the and to the back. To the um, then we put on the, um, the axles and our drive shafts. Okay, they're all on and in. Oh wait, hold on, there's like a Then we there. pop in the engine, stick on the main drive shaft from the engine. Or, um, is that you need? Yes, 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 it is a very important piece for what I need. I'll show you now in a second what that is for. All right. 
the um, radiator and uh, our exhaust pipe. Okay, that goes into the rest of the exhaust pipe. And a few other little bits and pieces here that go in down, and then we end up with this. that. Okay. So as you can see, that's in the Looks front a bit there. like a flag. Is that supposed to be there? No, it's just a bit of a oh, <laughs> bit, of, bit of to me a tip. So there we have it. There's our um, our Looks chassis I with know. the engine in place. Or um, wait, that, why is it so small? Because this is one thirty fifth scale, thirty five times smaller than the real McCoy. Okay. Ah. Well, that's the exercise. See that you keep looking at the big tank. We're back to the ba back to the small ones again now. Okay. All right. So then we've got that made up, okay? Back to so houses. that's the chassis, right? It's now, small in the next, place. what do we get onto? We're onto these little boxes, okay? Oh, yay, boxes! And you see here, we got to make four of these. So. I get, I got two. You get two. One, two, three, four. These are four little uh, boxes. They go underneath the uh, underneath the um, the main back of it they're just sort of storage boxes that go underneath okay we have four of them abby's yes, got two phone. and i've got two so we've got the four of them we stick them up there okay. ticked off and done like i said with the uh, little green highlighter uh. dead handy yes. okay <laughs> yep the green highlighter <laughs> then we're on to the uh these little storage baskets they also go underneath the uh thing that oh i get the them chassis. i will get them you can get that one you can get one and i get one Right. They're quite small. Another intricate little yoke, but again, went, so be way went, that went together bit. absolutely beautiful. They really, really did. Very, very nice. Yeah, nice. Uh, beautifully engineered, beautifully moulded, and a beautiful fit. Beautiful, beautiful all around, really, isn't it? Beauty personified. Right, so we've got two of those made, right? Because it says here, make two. And we've made two. So we'll put them up. They're cute. Then we're on to the radio shack or the uh, the cab at the back or whatever you want to bloody we'll call it because I'm after hearing about 40 different names for it. So we call it the radio room that goes onto the back of the truck, the, the back of the truck. Okay, and we're fitting on mud guards here and a step. Then we're fitting uh, cable reels here and another set of mud guards from the Which back. Which is step 29. So we get that far on step 29. Then we get to building up the sides of it. On okay. step 30. So we've got our side here sticking the two pieces of glass. We've got a sort of a shelving unit there. We've got the bench. We've got another bench up here. And oh now I know what back. that thing was for. And as you see I've it marked in the bright bright colours the radios that have to go in. And I haven't put them in yet because that's since I've marked them off because they're going to be easier to paint separately. Okay. With this, yeah. this other. And then the other side is basically the same idea again. We've got a little bench, we've got a radio type thing that goes onto it, or two pieces of glass, and then our backboard. Is this And then what we end up with this. Okay. Now I've started masking off the glass on the inside of that. Okay. Hi. Yeah, that's one of those panes of glass here. Okay, and what I'm using that's that what I found. Yeah, I'm using that as a template. Then oh. I'll show you now in two seconds. We, we, we'll do one up just for the crack, just to show people what I, how I did it. Okay, so got to mask tape. off the glass both inside and outside because we got to get the inside of it painted. Now, I haven't put on the radios and things onto the inside because then. everything in here is going to be basically the same color. Okay, apart from the floor, which is going to be wood, but it's going to be easy enough to paint. So I'll just sort of spray in there. And once I've got the windows covered, I can spray in there quite easily. Okay, but the squareness of that, that, that is absolutely perfect. And the roof, there's the roof that goes on oh there. Oh wow! To fill it all that in. actually fits quite and perfectly. Yeah, absolutely perfect fit. Really, really is. It's a Did you have to do any work to that? Beautiful, beautiful fit. No, no. Oh wow! So. As you can see, it's a beautiful fit all around. It's going to be a lovely, lovely item, and that's why I want to have the have the doors open because you're going to you're going to see into it, and I'm going to have the doors open. Okay. Now, one thing, we, I was looking through the instructions the other night, and and the hangout, and we were having a chat with the lads, and I copped. I said to myself, definitely the person 
who made these instructions. English isn't their first language. Okay. Well, and why do I say that English isn't their first language? Um, is that Polish? No, whatever. But the topic is Polish, but look what the explanation is. Doors you can be made as open. Wait, what? Where? <laughs> Where does it say that? Doors you can, can be, be made, made as open. <laughs> Doors you can be make is open, okay? So, uh, they, they that. English isn't their first language in this one. And as Look, you can it see, it says it here, doors you can make is open. Can, can be make is open. Can be make is open. <laughs> Alright, so. This is not you say, proper English. I, ha I haven't got to that section yet, okay? This is proper English. That's as far as I've gotten. So, Grammar mistake. Grammar mistake. What am I doing with the glass and how am I doing the. Piece um, The The. The masking, and getting the masking to, nine, to a right six, size, nine, right? Six. So I want the, uh, the thicker it's of the two. It's a size 10, I think. Okay, so... Oh, the thick. I'll just get... Tiny bit. Two little pieces. Oh, I'll get the other one for you. The other one piece. Just a tiny little piece now. I'll do it. <laughs> bad at this. There's a little... Oh. <laughs> Right. Are you sure that's not going to stick to the table? It probably will. Oh no. Oh, there we go. I'll oh. Fill okay. okay. Then you cut around it? And where, where's me? Me, 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 me Googles. Me you Googles. Googles. I got them. Oh god. I have them here. Right. Okay. He needs his Googles to show people. Right. And then. His other, his extra eye. With a sharp blade. <gasps> go around that. Is that new? Cause it, it's a little bit blunt. I got to put a new blade into this. I meant to do it oh. after last night. I noticed that it was a, It could have been a, that little bit sharper. You have extra. <laughs> okay. So we pop all these off. That needs another little slice. Slice. Okay. Okay. Right, and then we end up. With, with, with a window! With a window. Don't really Window sized piece of masking tape. Now, it would have been easier to do it with the bigger piece of masking, with the bigger masking tape, the, uh, the 10 mil, but unfortunately I am out. This is 10! Yeah, it's the same as the 15, so is the other one, isn't it? Yeah, it was. Uh, I have it here. But it's, uh, it's empty, unfortunately. Uh, I'll check it. Where does it say? 18. 18 mil. They look like ours. Yeah, I'm out of the 18 mil. Right, so then we get our piece. Oh, all nicely oh, cut to size. Oh. All right. I'm making a stand. Um, over here. Ah! Maybe I'll just stack them. <laughs> and the empty one. The empty R. Oh. And there we go. And I stack these. I, I use then, I just use a little bit of a toothpick. Toothpick! Or, uh, cocktail stick, whatever you call them. To rub it in? Just to burnish it down a small bit. Boom. Burnish. That just makes you sure could that use that one as a the, paint coffee stores. the paint doesn't get in behind it. That's all you want it to do. So it's it's pushed down onto the glass. Okay. So there's there's. How there's, do you get it off? There's two done. You just peel it off when you're finished. But you said it was. You're, you're going to spray over it. Shh. With your air brush. Spray bit. Spray spray. Spray spray spray. spray. Get all my colour inside. When it's dry, then just. Peel off that. Yep. No. It actually so went fuzzy when I did it, so it actually didn't make me. <laughs> so that, yeah. So that's it for the uh, the update on uh, what what I've gotten done and uh, my progression. Yeah. Still waiting on a few parts for the um, the KV one two two dial, and I'm waiting on the uh, acrylic posts oh to yeah. do for the. Um, 
the Centurion, the 125th scale Centurion, so nothing has been done with them. So that's about it, lads, for uh, this this uh, update. Okay. Let's go back up, to back up to myself and Abs, and we can uh, finish off the... No. We're back. We're back. <laughs> yep, that was it. That was, that was very fast, wasn't it? So anyway, uh, <laughs> that, that's it for this week's uh, Bench Update Monday, and uh, which is really a, an update number two for the... Uh, the Sim. IBG models. I was about um, to say Centurion. Yeah. No, the IBG models. Um, Bedford. Bedford QLR wireless truck. Okay. <laughs> I threw my cell phone and tried to get. I was like. Made as a bag of frogs. But anyway, uh, all we've got left to do is our bum chocolate and bum fruit. Yeah. But this week's we this week we are, we don't have a fruit. Sorry. Sorry, no fruit this week. But we have something similar. We've got a vegetable, haven't we? Kind of. Kind of. Kind of. A good old Irish vegetable. Yeah, let's see if people guess that. They probably have guessed it straight away when we said an Irish vegetable. But anyway, and it's something you do with those Irish vegetables. But anyway, uh, our bum chocolate is my my ultimate favourite chocolate. My my worst favourite chocolate. It's my favourite. Okay. Not mine. Milky Ways are mine. And it's a Yorkie. But it's not just any it. kind of Yorkie. I do like Yorkies. I love Yorkies. It's but that one is my favourite. Raisin and Biscuit! Raisin and Biscuit Yorkie. And it's Jack likes some just plain old I love sitting Yorkie. down here in the evenings, modelling away. Eating a Yorkie. With my cup of tea, or my cup of coffee, whatever I decide to have. I don't know. It depends. Depends on my humour, really. Sometimes I drink tea, sometimes I drink coffee. And, uh, sometimes you drink nothing. <laughs> 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 and it's nice with an old bar of chocolate and things like that. It's which one of the reasons I do the old bench fruit. Bench, started off with the old, bench, the old fruit? bench chocolate. Bench. Bum chocolate. <laughs> is It's a snack while you're modelling. And we like an old snack while we're modelling. Yeah. So, this week's bench. bench, uh, bench. You can't speak. I can't speak. I'll say it. This bench up you, no, you say Monday's <laughs> chocolate is. Yorkie. Yorkie. You've done that. I've, yeah, I've done that bit. You're supposed to be doing the uh, the vegetable oh, yeah. related object. <laughs> and what is the vegetable related object? Potato! Potato! <laughs> potato! Potato! Cheese and onions, the original Irish crisp. for potato crisp. Potato! Potato! Shall we show everybody the potato? potato? <laughs> no, it's fine. Oh, God. <laughs> right, it's uh, good old Irish potato. Cheese and onion, original Irish potato crisps. So it's potato crisps, Irish potato crisps from the Irish, good old Irish potatoes. I killed them. Potato. I killed them. Say it again. Potato. Potato. So potato. Apparently, apparently, us Irish people go around saying that the whole time. Potato. Who stole me lucky charm? <laughs> Who stole me lucky charm? So anyway, lads, that's it for this week's um, bum. We'll catch you next week. Don't forget to stay tuned to the channel for future updates and things. And bums. Uh, we'll have more Every updates. Every Monday. Well, yeah. most Mondays. Bums up, bum on the Monday. And we'll have uh, updates during the week on the um, on the, the, Bedford, <sighs> the Bedford QLR. Oh. And if the other things arrive so I can get stuck into the other dials, don't forget them Yay. as well. Also, just before I go, um, I did show this on... Up and over during the week uh, this came in the post wait what I, I can't remember Oops. and what it no, is it, it. It's, it's it's the thing from Simon his oh, uh, yay. his um, diorama in a box okay it's available ah. on it's available on um, the surplus selling page on Facebook and it's also available on eBay okay eBay so that's the I item love there. You, it's the uh, surplus. Wait, did you get this from Facebook or? No, I got it from Simon directly. Oh Simon wow! Sent it directly to oh, me. Oh, that must be special. Okay, um, it's on sale now. It's uh, retails on sale for now. Uh, retails for around forty-eight uh, pounds sterling. Uh, it's no basically what it says. It's a diorama in a box. You've oh my got, god! It uh, really is. Wall sections. Curb stones. But it's just packets, um, it's not actually a diorama, it's just things bricks, to make them. More pillar, bricks. pillar sections, brick sections, paving slabs, the whole lot. There's there's, there's a multitude inside in this box. It's 
section. It is really, really well worth it. And, There's even uh, brick wall sections. Yeah, and you can make yourself a nice little dial from them. I will be doing a dial for it. Okay, I'll be making actually this actual one, and it will be the dial for the uh, of the dial base for the Bedford QLR. So I get, forgot to give that a little mention. I will have a link below. Oh, excuse me, in the description box to uh, <sighs> the surplus selling page. And if you go into the surplus sell selling page and find the item, it's diorama in a box. Click that link and that'll bring you straight into um, eBay and you can purchase it through that. And it's one of our own, it's from Simon. And uh, Simon has gone to quite a lot of expense in um, producing these and in you know, getting the moulds and showing them to people and things and showing people the different things you can do with them. So it's a way of trying to kind of replenish some of the funds that he spent out in, in doing this. So he's selling them often, okay? So get onto that and it's a good thing and you can get you can get some beautiful, beautiful dials. And the fact is you can do exactly what you want. You don't actually have to do what's in the box. Okay, so that's the last on that. Don't forget lads, uh, we're back next Monday, Seth and Abs. And I'll be back during the week. And I'm so, smiling. Yeah, she did that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going. She is strange. <laughs> she is strange. She's definitely my child. Anyway. So anyway, lads, that's it for the for. Uh, that's it. Because we both that. We'll be back next week. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> Well, I'll be back next week. I don't know about uh, <laughs> the tail band. I might, I, I might have to sort of uh, forget to unlock the cage. So anyway, let's don't forget. Like I always say, go out go and buy, out, buy yourself a, a kit, build, build it, it, and enjoy it. Today's sponsors: potatoes. <laughs> but not just any potatoes. Potato, cheese, and onion. Potato and crisps. So I'm John. And I'm crazy happy. And we'll catch you next week. Goodbye.